Hello everybody, I am your Duke Murrow and welcome back to Sims Medieval. So, the previous quest did not give us enough resource points to, uh, to open up a new building here. So we're, me and my mighty kingdom, are just gonna have to make do with, uh, that freak and myself. And we're gonna have to accept another quest in order to, uh, build up. Hmm. Nah, nah, hmm. Fur. Ugh, the colony of dire chinchillas. I don't know. King for a day. Nah, nah. The fisherman's challenge. Nah, nah. Invasion? What? An orange sun burned in the sky, and the air was a bit too still. Somewhere in the distance, the beat of drums and the march of footsteps rose from the horizon. They were coming, and when they arrived, someone would need to face them. Lectus could not fall. The people had to be saved. What deceit? Yeah, no, uh, no, no, no. We, we won't do this one yet. I want it to be completed with swords and shields. So instead, I guess we'll just do this fur challenge or this fur quest. A colony of dire chinchillas had taken up residence in the forest outside of town. Dire chinchillas were known for their intense ferocity as well as their incredibly soft velvety fur. Either way, it meant somebody would be killing a lot of chinchillas. Now, you see, we could have, we could have a protest, which, uh, gets us more RP, you know, resource points, so we could build more with it. But since this is an endless game, I say why. Let's go for that experience and money along with better aspects. The chinchilla's menace had to be stopped. Every second they lurked near the town, lives were in danger. It was time for a hero to step forward and face these monsters in wild, bloody combat. I will protect the people, says I. You know what? Dire Chinchilla is the bane of any developing nation. They came, they ate, they destroyed. This time, it would have to be different. It was the monarch's duty to prevent the savage little critters from stripping the fresh from Lectus's bones. Time for some furry Maybe justice, he said. That does not sound like anything, I would say. In fact, in fact, I actually think I might even say the difference. I guess it really just depends on what type of justice and furry we are talking about. Eh, I digress. We need to go to the forest, so... Go to location. Hurry up! We're there. A good hunter always scouts out the situation before jumping in. Who's this? Elder Hunter Maud! Dang, he... He looks like quite the badass, I'll give him that. He, he honestly looks like he could possibly kick my ass. And I'm the Lord Duke. Man. That's, a, that's, that's, that's so powerful. Well, let's go scout the chinchillas. Ah! How did it go? Let's see. By the watcher, these chinchillas are most dire. Hmm. Now the question is how to deal with them. As those chinchillas are most dire. I never imagined so many cursed rodents. They look so evil. Evil! <laughs> I'll need help from the people or something like that. Well, we can make friendly with this guy. Uh, well, I, I guess we'll just yeah. Let's let's just talk to him. Yeah, let's tell him some jokes, let's... I... I... I let's say some kind words to him. That That's normally something people like to hear, right? Kind words? 
Here are three petitions. Oh. That's two citizens about life in Lectus. Oh. <laughs> Bitch, what are my servant? You merciless wench! You, you dare to to treat your monarchs like this? I will send you to the stocks. <laughs> it's what you deserve for yelling at your lo Lord Duke. So, anyways, how about those chinchillas? What should we do about that? Ah, so the rumors are true then. Let's pause this. The monsters of the old world have come back. This is dire news. If you intend to stop these beasts from ravaging your town, you'll need my help. For, <laughs> for you see, I have this giant cat that can help us. I call him Fluffers. He is most dire indeed, as he is giant. Well, he certainly is a colorful character. Strange or not, I need help from someone experienced. I have no idea how to tackle so many beasts. By the way, how is it living here in Lexton? Oh, I don't even live here. I live in... I live in the forests. Mm. At least not, not until recently, because a whole bunch of dire chinchillas came. Shame how, on that. Shame on that indeed. They killed every, everyone I cared about, including my family, friends. And most importantly... My giant cat, the one that I was go that I said was going to help us in destroying them. Yep, dead. Shame on that one. Okay, well let's go ahead and hold a court and hear a few petitions. I've been curious about this new fad of wearing eye patches, but which eye does Your Majesty favor? Left. Oh, thank you. Okay, my popularity increased. Um, Your Highness, the work conditions in the fields are deplorable. Your subjects work long, hard days. They are barely compensated, and morale is plummeting. I think we should give the workers a delightful fruit basket to improve morale. Only 50 simoleons for a fruit basket. And it's just one? For, for like, what? A hundred people that are working the farms? Sure, go for it. Yeah, here's 50 simoleons right out of pocket, you piece of shit. Yeah, what you want. My liege, I ask you to find a voyage into the unknown. I shall sail in your name and discover the secrets of the world around us. Knowledge, treasure, glory, these things can be yours. As long as you name a continent after me. If you don't find a continent, don't even bother coming back. You understand this, right? Okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, end this holding of court since we completed that. Ah, uh, gosh, is... Do I... Is there anybody here I can... Hey, you, how's it like living in Lectus? That's cool, I don't really care. I just need to complete my tasks for the day. God damn it! Where'd he go? I don't understand what just happened. You! What's it like living in Lectus? Cool, thank you. It's great. Your entire family was murdered because there's not enough security. Bye. So it's saying I should go to the judgment pit. However, I'm getting a little hungry, so. Mmm. Bear. Roasted bear. Roast pigeon. Sweet bear. Ooh, there's multiple servings as well. Yes, I think I'll have some sweet, sweet, succulent bear. You see, nobody says I am not a kind lord. After all, I'm eating with my hands. The fuck? Where are my utensils, knaves? Where are my utensils, knives? I... I don't know why I find that joke so funny. I just, I just really like it. Yeah, just eat that sweet bear, that sweet, sweet succulent bear. No, oh, you dirty. 
The beast always did give me the chills. I should speak to the Elder Hunter Mord. Oh yeah, I was just over by the forest. Now I'm over here. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. So yeah, how do I kill the chinchillas? Mmm, don't go ahead of yourself, Sonny. You're, you're nowhere near ready to take on one of those things. Watch and learn what you'll need to fight these monsters. What, watch the fight. Uh, okay. Oh, he- Oh, man! He- He just jumped in there! He's ready for a fight! Oh, man, against a giant tentacle beast! Oh, this is awesome! Oh, man, freaking numbers and, and symbols I've never seen before are shooting out of the pits! Oh, gosh, it's- It's an amazing sight! You- Man, you guys should be happy that you are able to see this! It's so violent and- Oh, God, Jesus Christ! He just- Oh, he is- uh, he is still alive. I I mean, he's still fighting, but he just got flung like 80 feet into the air. Oh man, this is quite the sight. He's back into the air. He is he's trying to escape. He is has been brought back in. He he's riding it. He's riding the tentacles. Oh, he is You know, this seems like more of a losing battle than anything. Why am I watching this? Perhaps I should just leave. After all, I'm not <laughs> I'm not very impressed with what's been shown to me so far. There are axes that are appearing in the little symbols, along with the triangle. There are like two different types of triangles. Illuminati confirmed. Uh, let's just fast forward. How long does this last? Oh. Jeez, I'm s Hey, you somehow survived. Stick with me, kid, and you'll be doing that in no time. Now let's talk training. He he just jumped in. Uh, sir, do you mind leaving so I can talk to you about training? Uh, you uh, oh, whoop, go, Nick. Not yet. You uh, you kind of got your ass kicked there more than anything, and now you're dressed as I presume what is a uh, a monk. Now don't go jumping in this pit like I did. Odds are you'd be chewed up and spit out. You're not ready. Not yet. First I need to test your combat skills. Come at me. Uh, so I have to spar with him. Okay. Let's spar then. Bring it on! I'm only a level 2, so I'm probably not all that great. But his health is low due to his fights with the uh, with the Watcher. So I defeated him. Ah, good! The beast must have taken more of me than I thought. But your form still needs work. Luckily, I've worked something out beforehand. Constable, arrest this man! What? Destiny. I've been a Mereda. Wait, whoa, whoa! I am your Lord Duke! You will... You can't do this to me! I'm the Lord Duke! I'm... I'm... I, I'm the person that sends other people to Stucks! I execute people! What kind of bullcrap is that? You can't do this to the Lord Duke! You may have... You may have some combat skill, but that means nothing when you're alone in the dark in their territory. The frick are you talking about? Are you- If you think your size or your speed can save you from this razor sharp things, you're wrong. Dead wrong. Your best chance for survival is to form a stance just like this one. Low to the ground. That's in I- I- You could've just told me that! You're- You're tossing tomatoes in my face! Why do you do this? You're not helping me! Stay low, stay quiet, strike fast, and you may- Just may- Make it through this. Cosmo, we're through here. You might not like this method, Lord, but blah 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 ha 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 Lord, I hope you know that I'm going to kill you. At some point, you will die. Despite the anger I have at him. Despite him mocking me, and treating me like crap, no one else has uh, ever done this to me as Lord Duke. I will hear him out. 
I'm ready to continue my training. What's next? Jump in the pit. That's the spirit, son. While training is important, it's all also important to be well equipped. When I heard about this infestation, I set off for my suit of chinchilla slaying armor with special neck protection. To earn it, you must prove to me you're ready. Jump in that pit. I believe in you, Duke. Um, well, here's the deal. I'm tired. I'm going to go home. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. I want to make sure I, I'm not all stressed out when I do this. Especially after you threw a whole bunch of tomatoes at me. Seriously, that was half of the farmer's market. You, you, why on earth would you do such a thing? Oh. Your dream started out with you in the tavern having a beverage. You called out some, for some music to liven the evening. Oddly enough, two famous bards appeared and started singing simultaneously. One wordsmith, Andy Island, sang a body and comically ironic tale of crude lust. The other, crooner Big Hale Moulton, sang a raucous ballad of pirate adventure. Both troubadours refused to quit. You'd have to choose the song. Yeah, I like to laugh. Good song is stuck in my head now. Amazing. What, once this humiliation goes away, everything will be so much better. Can't sleep, god dang it! Well, you know what, go take a bath. Maybe that'll help relax me. Ah, this is nice. Mm. I see that uh, the plate of food has been made. Well, I suppose I'll just go ahead and have a bit of onion soup before I go and face the Watcher. Mmm, it's good. Okay, now I think it's time to face that Watcher. That's not the right button. That's the button. So, Judgment Zone. Let's jump into that pit! Yeah! Bring it! I'm gonna kick your ass! You tentacle monster, you! Yeah, you you have one eye, and I survived! I can't believe I won. Now, where's my armor? <laughs> you, you look messed up. Alright, kid, don't get cocky. The beast is one thing, but chinchillas are an entirely different monster. I'll meet you at the forest. You're ready now. Now, excuse me for my walk, because I have some horrible diarrhea going on. Mmm. Man, sure I've eaten that second set of gruel. Oh boy, it's coming in fast. Uh, I've been eating a whole bunch of spicy Cheetos, and now it's all coming out fiery red and hot. It burns. It's like stomach acid. It's quite terrible. Man, it'll be a, it'll be a marvelous day if I actually manage to survive this horrible occurrence. I should ask him for the armor before I head into the forest for once. Or, sorry, once more. So, um... Yo, you. What? Oh, right, I dislike him because he threw a whole bunch of tomatoes at me. So, can I have that armor? Ah, yes, the armor. Would you care to learn about the origins of this armor before you do righteous bow with the beasts of the forest? Uh... No. Oh, okay. I just thought a little more context would help you enjoy... Well, never mind, this armor is yours. Wear proudly and slay every last one of those monsters. Yeah, yabba dabba doo. Go fuck yourself. Ooh, this armor is even better than mine. It only weighs three. Heck yes, I shall equip it. Oh, and it looks good. Seriously, guys, look at me now. Look how good I look. You know, maybe, maybe you could do without the helmet, but all in all, I look good. Okay, guys. Let's go do this fur hunt. <laughs> the Dutch and Chillas had been defeated, and the sea was safe once more. They tried to bite up my throat, but it didn't do crap. Because of the special armor. Elsa. I'm so badass. I'm amazing. Yeah, I leveled up. I learned the Whirling Takedown special combat move. And, uh, 
fighting proficiency has slightly increased. With the help of a mysterious new friend, Lord Duke had done the impossible. <laughs> I don't think it was rightly impossible. I, I mean, we did it fairly, fairly easily. He stared a colony of dire chinchillas in their glowing soulless eyes and lived to tell the tale. Lord Duke protected his people from the monsters, saving Lectus from a horrible fate. Amazing. As the renown of, Re of Lectus grew, its political standing amongst the various foreign territories also rose. Before long, Lectus found itself in dire need of grand accommodations to house the ever-increasing flow of visiting foreign dignitaries. So with a flurry of activity and peasant gro groaning, the grand reception hall was finally unveiled. Oh, really now? It, uh, oh, ho, ho, it looks good. I love it. Oh, man. I, I'm i so proud of all of the workers that that worked in order to create this reception hall. And more importantly, I'm so proud of me for being the Lord Duke who made this possible by enslaving a whole bunch of foreign colored people amazing well with that thank you all so much for watching and as usual the like and dislike buttons are down below along with the subscribe button and if you truly enjoyed tell your friends about me as usual have a wonderful day bye